Welcome back everyone to Ascians, let's play a Suicoden, or Grandia, sorry, I keep doing that, I've been so used to saying Suicoden, on El Tarot's YouTube channel. We last left off, we had uh, gone into this seagull restaurant, which is Justin's home, and had dinner with his mum, and found out that we have to go see the curator at the museum today. A first-rate lady should be able to play an instrument like this is a sign of good breeding. Don't give me that, it's much more important to polish my swordsmanship. When a monster comes after you, this thing won't be of any use at all. If you're not an adventurer, that's not a worry. Oh wow. Snap. Dear Clara, Mum and Dad have gone to a party again today. So me and my kitty Chummy are house-sitting on the rose-scented balcony. Excitement fills the night air. What are you doing, sir? Uh, uh, what? Phew, it's just you, Justin. I'm writing a letter. A letter. A letter? It sounds like a letter to a little girl. Actually, Clara is the girl my son got to know while he was living in New Palm. She is sickly and hardly ever gets out of the house. Seems she has hardly any friends. Poor girl. I would have write her a letter too. That reminds me. Justin, you're always saying you want to go on an adventure. If you have a chance to go to New Palm, please take this letter to Clara. Sure, I'll make sure she gets it. Justin, if you forget, you won't be forgiven. Oh my god, how can you just trust us with this? Why is the chair going through his face? And the bed looks like it's a bit soiled. Why would you trust a little boy that's going, Oh, I'm going to go on an adventure with a letter when you have no guarantee that he's going to ever go there? Just so unrealistic. Okay, now we need to go back to the train station. Let's use the map so we can pick up. Okay, that didn't work. I'm pretty sure the bridge is over here. There's supposed to be a little girl here. A one, two, three, one, two, three, right foot in, right, left, lift hand lightly and turn. Say there, what you doing? That a new kind of game? Show me how to play. You're so silly, Justin. She's practicing her dance. Is that the waltz? Oh God, that's not the right girl. Hang on there, Justin. You were the one who did it. Don't deny it. Huh? What are you talking about? Don't try that with me. You stuck that flyer on my back. I know it. Huh? It wasn't me. I may be absent-minded, but I do remember all the mischief I do. Her. There she is. Wah, wah. I hate you, mummy. You, you. Wah. What's wrong, Marie? I can't understand with you crying like that. Now tell me. Mummy dropped my favourite pin somewhere. Please, Justin and Sue, will you help me look for it? Really? Oh, thank you. Justin, I thought that's what you'd say. <laughs> this is sort of embarrassing. Where do you think you lost it? My mummy said it was somewhere around the museum, but I don't know. Somewhere around the museum? Alright, let's go look, Sue. Where is the museum? That's my place. No. Is that it? No, that's the store. Now, where could it be? I have to find it. I'm really sorry, Marie. Hmm? What's that? There it is. There it is. This is it. Look, Sue. This is it. Oh, well, that was easy. This is the pin that Marie lost. It's really pretty. Quick, we have to get it to Marie. God, so urgent. Is that her? Yeah. Marie, let me show you something. Here, the pin you were looking for. Wow, thank you, Sue, and Justin, too. <laughs> it was no problem at all. Now I can make up with Mummy. I love you all, Justin, Sue, and Mummy too. God. Now if we go back to where the lady was looking around. Justin and Sue, you found the pin I lost. I'm so grateful. I felt guilty, so I searched so hard, but no matter what, I couldn't find it. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Justin, you're always skinning your knees, so it'll help. Okay. Justin and Sue, be nice to Marie, okay? Of course. Is that? Oh, it's you, Justin. Come to play at the museum again. Don't make trouble for the curator. 
today I didn't come to play. I came to get something back that I had left with the curator. Hmm, didn't I hear that the strange stone shard that you, your dad had was the spirit stone? That's right. No one believes it though, but I'm sure the curator will prove that it's the real thing. Welcome to the Great General Baal Museum, dedicated to the advancement of national archaeology. What is with that sun plate on the wall? Why, it's Justin and Sue. Welcome. Have you come to talk to the curator? Looks ridiculous. Look, look, Justin. The sun has a face. Pretty funny, huh? You're right. If the sun had a face like this, it could talk, huh? But if that were true, this face would be watching us wherever we were outside. Hmm, you're right. I like the sun the way it is now. Ha ha ha. Some of the humour in this game is so stupid. In the ancient times of old, the spirit stone symbolised blessings for certain Ikarians by spirits. The Ikarians generously shared the blessings of the spirit stone with the humans, who then began to prosper. However, as the people began to desire even more prosperity, their greed began to cloud the spirit stone. Eventually, the stone broke into seven pieces and the Ikarians and spirits departed, ending the mythical age. Alright, I've memorised it. Now I know that Angelo myth perfectly. Think they'll hire me now? Okay, if you say so. Um, they say maps found in the ruins of the An Angelo civilization included accurate maps of the new continent. This produced a theory that Angelo was a very advanced civilization. Very interesting. Blah, 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 blah. What is that? These humanoid statues with wings attached are typical of those that are called Ikarian statues. This is thought to be a motive of the kings who had nearly a godlike presence to the ancient people. And this? Artifacts of the Angelo civilization sometimes include non-human statues that also have wings attached. This is thought to mean that the ancients tended to consider the wings themselves to have godlike character. Wings originally symbolizing those in power came to acquire godlike status as wings themselves became worshipped. What the fuck is this? It's like a coin box. Weird. Hi, Mr. Curator. Hello, Mr. Curator. Oh, you came just at the right time. Look, Justin. It's a new Ikarian statue. I just finished its restoration. Wow, this is a statue of an Ikarian? I've never seen this type. Yes, when I checked with Garlisle, it seems that it was found at the Dom Ruins on the new continent, Elencia. Wow, the Dom Ruins, eh? The biggest ruins on the new continent of Elencia. I'd like to go. I bet you would, bet you would. Yes, it's what you look for that makes you a man, Justin. According to the Angelo myths told in Palm, Ikarian used the power of spirit stones to create a dream world. Wow, he looks really obsessed in his speech. Stories are told of floating cities and ships that travel to the stars. Steam engines that run forever. The spirit sanctuary frozen in time. Great immortal priests who never age. Are you two finished yet? Sorry, Sue. We'll be through in a minute. Okay, but just a minute. After all, I am a very understanding woman, right? <laughs> yet if we consider these utopian fantasies apart from myths, these Ikarians must have been thought of as kings who possessed great power. Archaeologically, that much is certain. Archaeologically, these kings must have created the spirits and spirit stones in order to justify their presence. Oh, that's not very interesting. Archaeology has no romance. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that. I like dreamy stories myself. Justin, I guess you get bored when ancient myths become research. That's right, I can't quite get in the mood today. It might all have been true, right? That's right, Justin. I cannot prove that it is not all true. Oh no, I almost forgot. It's about the so-called spirit stone left by your dad. So you examined it for me? I bet it was real. Ahaha, <laughs> I can't tell if it's real or fake. To begin with, the spirit stones only exist in myths. I tried to do a chemical analysis of the stone, but I couldn't. It is harder than diamond, so I gave up. Harder than diamond, really? Until I think of another way to analyze it, I'll give it back. Don't steal my shit. If you like, why don't you try analyzing it, Justin? I'll give you some hints. When you're finished looking at the statue, come to my office. I have something for you. <laughs> Actually, there's something really funny you can do in this room. The curator has hope for me. Mysteries of the ancient civilization, Justin the Adventurer will solve them. If you look at this. The legendary Ikarian statue discovered at the Dom Rooms. Hmm, I can pitch that. 
Justin, I'm amazed you knew that the Dom Ruins are the largest ruins on the new continent of Valencia. Of course I know, an adventurer needs to know lots of things. But you know, it's no fun just listening to other people's adventure stories. Alencia is awaiting me with mountains of exciting things. Here, <laughs> just look. Oh no, don't do that. Someday I'll find the Angelo that no one else has been able to discover. Oh. But what are you doing, Justin? Poo 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 poo! Now, j just just calm down. The only thing to do is fix it. Come on, Sue, help me. No way, it won't work. We should just be honest and apologize. I can't do it. You saw how happy the curator looked when he restored this statue. I can't tell him. I remember what it looked like. Uh, uh. You sure that's right? I think it looked a little different. Maybe, but it's about 70% right, don't you think? On a test, that's a passing grade, right? That's not the point, Justin. Oh my god, Justin, you're an idiot. Let's get out of here. Before we get in trouble. Oh, here it is. I was keeping it in my pocket so I would always be ready to give it to you and see your smiling face. Uh, uh, Mr. Curator, are you getting senile in your old age? Haha, <laughs> you're never at a loss for words. Anyway, I just heard a loud crash. Did something happen? Um... Well, what do we do, Sue? Think we should tell them the truth? Maybe. Y you figure it out. I don't know what to do. Just own up. Come on, say something or I'll know something's wrong. Ahaha, <laughs> Justin, you are a joker. If you broke the statue I just finished repairing, my poor heart couldn't take it. Uh-oh. Putting aside the jokes, I have something good for you. Cool, what is it? Uh -huh, my present to you is this. What's this? The Garlisle forces are searching the salt ruins again. I arranged for two people to visit. Wow, really? Thank you, Mr. Curator. Isn't this great, Justin? You kept saying that you wanted to go to the salt ruins. Poo -poo. I'm just happy to see your faces. Show this letter of introduction and the army will let you visit. Justin, you go find out for yourself if this spirit stone is real or not. Tis a good thing for young ones to take an interest in learning. The salt ruins are to the northwest of Palm. Use the letter I gave you to get in. Go on, hurry off. Let's get out of here before he finds out what we did. Phew, we made it. Think we got away clean? Ah, the Ikarian statue. I just finished fixing it. Uh-oh, we're in deep stuff now. What do we do? You think we should go back and apologize straight out? Maybe the curator will forgive. Who was it? Who did this? Now I have to work day and night to fix it all over again. Nope, no way. If we go back now, he'll take the letter of introduction back for sure. You're right. I feel bad about the curator, but let's come back and apologize later. I don't think we're allowed to go back in. Hey, you really want to go into the museum? The curator's really teed off. You're right. You think we did something really bad? Hang on, Justin. Not we. I didn't do anything. Okay. We get off. We need to leave town now. Which is... Why is there a fish above that? What's that? Oh, that's a shop. The exit? I don't think. Alright, so Mana Road is the next point of interest. We're in the continent of Messina. Now, this is where we'll find our first battle, so let's save it. What's the hint here? Monster encounters. Touching a monster starts combat. You may get an advantage in combat depending on how the monster is touched. Oh my god, again, suggestive. It is advantageous to touch the rearmost of a group of monsters. Also, take note of monsters' colours. If a monster is not shining red, it has not seen you yet. If you touch a monster before you are seen, you have the initiative. Try approaching from out of view. 
You may also be ambushed and have a disadvantage if a monster touches an ally from the back. Okay. Let's save. Saving takes so long in this game. Alright, so let's explore. Yeah, we got the advantage. So I don't know if I want to cut the... I think I probably will cut most of the battles out, but I'll show you the ones where we haven't seen the enemies yet. These enemies aren't even hard, really. I don't think the HP bars are working properly. All right, we won. So I think skill goes up per hundred. So every hundred points, your skill level goes up. Okay, there's bugs in that. Shit. Well, there's bugs in this one, so we haven't seen the bugs, so I'll keep this battle in as well. Oh my god. Let's... Kill them. We're gonna get to attack first. So you can actually use the save point to uh, recover. Here! Here! Roger, shit damage. Take out the mana button. Oh, puppy, you're so cute. You can actually cancel an enemy's attack as well. If they're about to attack you, you use a critical, I think, and it cancels their attack. Too sure on how the battles work in entirety. All right, we won. Monies. I'll probably do a little bit of grinding off camera as well because I do want to get money. Let's try and avoid the rest of the enemies and just get the treasures. No, stay away from me. One. Ooh, there's more of that side. So there's three money bags in total. No. Uh, in the field like this, you can't use the bird's eye view. Uh, unless you go to one of the blue markers, like that one over there that was just on my left. But I just wanna... <gasps> Shit. Ooh, that was close. What's that? Herbs. Herbs. Alright, so there's two herbs. So there's one more herbs to find. And so many enemies, oh my god. I wanted to try and find all the treasure. There's another one. There's an enemy, oh. Oh. Actually, I won't be able to cut the videos out because I, um, the battle, sorry, because I'm not recording with Audacity, and with Audacity I could see where the breaks were, so we're going to have to put up with them. I'll try not to get into them on purpose, but sometimes it's difficult when you're uh, looking for treasure. 
this thing first. Oh, a baton. Baton. Can she equip it? She can. I'll give it to Justin. No more battles. Oh my god. Oh, we got ambushed. Uh -huh. What a fish. I want to try and get my weapon skills up a bit. My time is about to go off. And I want to not get into any more battles because I want to go save it. No, no, no. Save point's just back here, I believe. Anyway, guys, this has been Astian on our Tari's YouTube channel, taking a let's play of Grandia. When we return, we will continue heading through the foothills here of Mana Road. And uh, we'll be a bit of a higher level too. And we'll be able to finish searching for the rest of the treasure. So thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.